We conquered polio, but in the past few years, paralysis of children has returned. We need your help to crush this new threat. I'm Vincent Racaniello. And I'm Amy Rosenfeld, and we are virologists at Columbia University working to try and understand what is causing these children to become paralyzed. In 2014, there was an outbreak of respiratory illness in the United States and the rest of the world. Many of these children developed an illness called acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM. AFM is defined as rapid onset of weakness in one or more limbs accompanied by damage to the spinal cord. During the 2014 outbreak, a virus related to poliovirus called enterovirus D68 was isolated from many of the children with AFM. There was another outbreak of AFM in 2016, and as we speak, a third outbreak is in progress. Our laboratory has worked for many years on poliovirus and how it causes paralysis. When EV68 came on the scene, we decided to apply our expertise to understanding how this virus causes paralysis. EV68 is like a common cold virus and infects the respiratory tract. From there, we think it travels to the spinal cord. In the lab, we found that EVD68 can infect human motor neurons, the ones that control muscle movement. We are interested in understanding how the virus damages these cells. We are collaborating with another Columbia researcher to produce human cultures to infect with EVD68 and find out where the virus replicates and how it might spread from the lung to the spinal cord. We are asking for your donations to help fund our research on EVD68. Your contributions will make a difference. Help us eradicate EVD68 and childhood paralysis.